Mary. Mary. So, how have you been doing? Oh, pretty good. Okay, not so good. I, I still can't even go in that room. The room where Ryan took his own life? I keep hearing noises from behind the door. It's his voice. Mary. It sounds crazy, I know. That doesn't sound crazy. It's not uncommon for people suffering from the loss of a loved one to experience some type of hallucination it's of them. so real. It's like he's really there. I'm just too afraid to actually open the door and see for myself. I think it's important that you do. Losing a loved one to suicide is a very traumatic experience. And I think taking this step will help in your healing process. I don't know what I'll find on the other side. And that's why I think you should. What if Ryan is in there? Well, if you do have another vision of him, maybe you could use that as an opportunity to find some closure and come to terms with the reality of your situation. Ryan? Mary? No, you're not real. Mary, I miss you. I miss you too, but you're gone. I'm right here. No, you're not here. Why? I could have helped you. Don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault. I miss you, but I can't go on like this. Maybe someday we'll see each other again, but not like this. So sorry, Mary. I'm sorry, too. Goodbye. feels impossible to let go. Don't think of it as letting go. Because you should keep the memory of those you've loved with you. But you also can't let yourself live in pain. I know it may be hard right now. But you'll find that each day will start to get just a little bit better. You're stronger than you think you are.